bored. Why don't you start working on your homework? Homework? Simon, that's torture. Then why don't you go and ask the girls? Maybe they've got something you can do. Oh, you don't think I already did that? Oh, Brittany has an interview with reporters. Jeanette is applying for a job for some reason. And Eleanor is out of getting school supplies. <sighs> Have you asked Theodore? He's not here either. He went to the movies. They were having a $5 sale with free popcorn. Oh, <laughs> well, it looks like you're just gonna have to find something to do by yourself. Oh. Brittany, I'm your number one fan. C can you tell me your favorite trend? What do you have in mind for your clothesline? Any news for a new film? When will you start your worldwide tour? Is it true that you and Alvin are dating? Thank you, thank you. All very good questions. But if you want to know the answer to all of those and more, check out our web show. And I'll be answering questions after the conference. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Marissa. Hello. N nice to meet you. I I I'm Jeanette. Hello, Jeanette. If you don't mind me asking, are you a talking chipmunk? Y yeah. W why do you ask? Well, you see, there'll be certain limits you have, but... It says you sing with a group called the Chipettes. That's very impressive. Oh, thank you. Well, I will let you know if you have the job by Monday. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, is that the time? I I I'm late. Bye. No, look who's not busy now. Alvin, the monk cast. Oh, that's why you're here. Okay, okay, let's do it. <laughs> today's video, don't forget, hit that like button below. And share. <laughs> That's not shameless, is it? Okay, if you're done with your monologue, um, let's go straight to Melissa with the news. The third Alvin and the Chipmunks TV show DVD for the UK is coming out in December. The 31st of December, to be exact. Basically, the UK is the first country to have an entire season one on DVD. The DVD will be called Driving Dave Crazy. If you guys are familiar with this title, it is an episode name in Alvin and the Chipmunks. It is also one of the 80s through 90s DVDs that was released in the U US. And actually, this is volume four. I'm sorry about that. Alvin and the Chipmunk merchandise has been spotted. That's right. The new Alvin and the Chipmunks TV series is supposed to be getting merchandise this October, which, as you guys know, is next month. So here is some pictures of figures. That's right, Alvin and Chipmunk figures. Now, they're a little less accurate than we were hoping for, having the instruments and the different designs on the hoodies, other than just being, you know, how they normally dress. And it also, as a little bit of a downfall, um, it is actually by Fisher Price, which is a known company that makes toys for, for toddlers and younger kids. So if this is the merchandising for maybe the UK, since it's in the U, it's on Nick Jr. there, or if it's just Fisher Price is just bringing out merchandising, they're not bad for Fisher Price figures, I must say. I'll still be getting them, but yeah, they're not as accurate as we were hoping for. But then again, you know, all the figures in the past that we've had hasn't actually been accurate to the actual movie ones. Maybe it would be a, a great suggestion if Bagdasari would bring them out exactly how they're shown in the, in the um, actual TV show. That would be really appreciated. UK will not be getting the merchandise until next October. It will be coming out in the US this October. 
Um, but I'm sure that everyone in the UK will be able to possibly purchase it on Amazon. But the sad fact is, it's not going to do as well in the UK if you guys don't purchase it in the UK stores. We're kind of counting on all you UK fans to actually purchase a lot of this merchandise when it comes out there. Because um, the more, you know, less people buy it there, the more, you know, less merchandise you guys will probably get because they go on, you know, how, how much of it's sold. So we're really counting on you guys to do that. But you, it should be available on Amazon at some point in time. If not, you know, you can probably try to have a friend from the U.S. actually get it for you, which would be a nice thing um, for people to do. So, anyway, though, guys, that will be all for the news. Yeah, keep on monking. Oh, <laughs> it's about time the U.K. got some new episodes. Yes, they've been waiting way too long to see my beautiful face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for that information, Melissa. I'm sure you guys are gonna love this. Here it is, our already recorded podcast section of our show, The Fan Mail. Kim Possible, call me, be me, if you wanna reach me, if you wanna page me, it's okay, whenever you need me, baby. Hey, what are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> because I just hit record, and you were singing Kim Possible. Oh, no! To take it out! To take it out! Nope. It's in there and everyone heard you. Oh no! My rep! What am I gonna do now? It's okay, Alvin. We only have 21,000 subscribers. Oh no! And on top of that, roughly one or two billion fans. Oh no! Wait, why don't those guys subscribe to our channel? Because we don't have that great of an advertising scheme? Oh, well. Uh, are we gonna answer fan mail now, or just keep on wasting the time talking about uh, superficial things? Superficial? Yeah, that's like the fifth time this week you've used high vocabulary. <laughs> well, I'm smarter than I look. You do it in our show as well. But that's the writers! I just read what they've written. Sure, whatever. At least they write me perfect. Fan mail, please. Yes, I, I, I will go first. Uh, this one is from Marty Martinez. And they say, uh, I'm at a water park, and they played Achy Breaky Heart with Billy Ray Cyrus. And you guys, oh wow, they did? <laughs> uh, it's awesome, <laughs> it really is. Yeah, that's so cool! I thought that song was out of circulation. <laughs> I'm just very grateful that they chose to play our music. Yeah, it's good to know that we're out there in the public. Uh, thanks for sharing this with us. Um, if they play anything by a little band called the Chipettes, let us know. Yeah, and if they play any more of ours. Anyway, it, it's my turn. This one's from Carl Euchness. It says, The Monk Cast is made by fans for fans. But the other way around, I think. Absolutely, I think it goes better the other way, too. For fans, by fans. <laughs> he is correct. 99% plus one. You do the math. Yeah, we want to be absolutely clear on this. The Monk Cast is made with us by fans, and our TV show and, and, and films and most of our music is it, it, done by Bagdasarian Productions. Yeah. Uh, correct. We are in both, but have different directors. Yeah, and different directions, too. What does that mean, Theodore? Well, in the Monk cast, we're never clear on our age, and I'm pretty sure that some people are confused that we live with Chris, but we don't. We just visit his house on weekends, and not even all weekends. That would make a great movie, I think. An origin story of how the Monk Cast got started. That's right. A fictional account of what happened when we started the Monk Cast. But isn't it obvious how we started? In, like, the first one, you stole our fan mail, you got in trouble, and we read out fan mail for our fans on camera. Yeah, but a little more detailed. Sure, Alvin, sure. Anyway, um, should we move on? Yes, so let's absolutely do that. And my fan mail here is from Michael Fox. And they say, I got a question for Brittany. Why don't you ask Alvin out? Ugh, really? Or have at least told your sisters you liked him? Well, isn't this personal? Well, if I did like Alvin, he would have to ask me out. We have been on dates, but they all end up in disaster. Yeah, we are sisters and we tell each other almost everything. Yeah, that's right. We are very close. Yeah, we really are. But I wish we could get a lock for our bathroom door. Oh, come on, that was one time, Jeanette. But, you know, we're close. What about the times Alvin... Uh, uh, we're not going there. Okay, well, 
Here's my fan mail. I I it's from Sapphire Cole. It says... Yay, are they any OCs here? Oh, uh, I might post mine a bit later. And thanks, Monk Media, for the videos. I love the Fallout videos. Maybe you will come in the future. I, I hope more will come in the future. Sorry, I misread that. Keep on monking. Uh, I'll cover this one. OC, in any fan base, stands for original character. Uh, I believe it's when someone takes the concept of another character from a show or a movie and makes it their own, puts themselves into that universe. And pretty much uh, almost everybody has tried it at some point. Apart from me, of course. I, I don't have a Star Trek OC. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What about if you made a twin OC? That is not how it works, Theodore. Twins may look alike, sometimes, but they are essentially different people. Yeah, well, I'm just glad you like the Fallout videos. We are definitely doing more, because there's Fallout 4. It's so cool. Bit violent, so we might have to age restrict the video, but still, it's awesome and we're totally doing it. Um, I am totally joining you in that one, Elvin, because I want to see what the big deal is about this Fallout game. And Grand Theft Auto, I know you played that one too. But anyway, here's my fan mail, the last one again. Why am I always forgotten? Sorry, um, here's the last fan mail for today. It's, uh, it's from Bill Flanagan. They say, Curly Bear is born. I repeat, Curly Bear is born, and I'm an uncle. What? What does that have to do with us? I believe they may be spamming our page. Well, besides that, I, I uh, I'm glad you're an uncle. Congratulations. I just hope he's not like Uncle Harry or Ian. This is strange. I don't get it. What does this mean? Who knows what it means? The world is going crazy. PlayStation seem to think they have professional people playing video games in scaled up 4K, and Apple seem to think we want new phones with wireless little headphones that you'll probably lose on the bus, and you can't even track them. <sighs> the world is going nuts. Well, Alvin, you'll just have to eat the whole world. And on top of that, Brittany, listen to me, Brittany, listen to me, Brittany. Listen to me, Brittany. I'm listening. There are people on planet Earth today, in the year this video was made, of 2016, the 21st century. Hi, people in the 24th. Do, do we travel in space yet? Anyway, to, to the point. Um, there are people alive today that believe the Earth is flat. Sorry, I... I, I just, I have to laugh at that. You're not laughing. Well, I am on the inside. Alvin, there's probably some compelling evidence out there. You believe it? No, of course not, Alvin. I am in favor of science, not magic. The Earth cannot possibly be flat. It's impossible. But if that's what they want to believe, we are in the 21st century, and we have to respect their beliefs. Okay, then. Well, guys, look at the time. We're totally gonna be late for our concert. I told you that you should have got here quicker. I was busy. That's not an excuse. We've been doing this show for I don't know how many years. We've got over a hundred episodes. Only out of ten have been late. And we've gotta keep up a standard. Oh, whatever you say, Alvin. Come on, we're gonna be late. Uh, okay, I'll wrap it up. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. If you did like today's video, give it a thumbs up and share it on every single social media you are on. And tell everyone how much you love the Chipmunks. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, other Tumblr grannies. And, and leave your fan mail on any of those. And on our forum if you sign up. I uh, used to have priority, but we've been having a few administration problems on... Never mind. And... Scene. Uh, and as always, keep on monkin'. Come on, Alvin. I'm coming. <laughs>